Hey guys, it's me, Sarah, with Bear May Crafts and the Frugal Bear. We need to get some cauldron bombs done again. We need some, well, we need two kinds. We need Dragon's Drool and we need some Witch's Brew. So right now we're going to do some Dragon Drool really, really quick. So let's get started. I have my dry ingredients minus my SLSA here. And this is the 600 grams of baking soda, 300 grams of citric acid, and 20 grams of kale and clay. So I'll sift this. Dragon's drool is I do in um, cotton candy because, you know, I just envision dragon's breath smelling like cotton candy, so why not? Now, people always ask me, why cotton candy? I don't know, because it's what I wanted to do, and now people expect dragon's drool to be in cotton candy. It is a big hit. Okay, so there is that, and we will carefully mix in our 300 grams of SLSA. Set that aside. Gently fold that in. <laughs> and here I have pre-measured my liquids. I have... <clears throat> excuse me, 20 grams of my cotton candy fragrance. I have 15 grams of 91% um, rubbing alcohol. I have um, about seven grams of polysorbate 80, and I have um, sweet almond oil at about 10 grams. So we will mix this in here. And we're going to do this one in two colors. We're going to use this Tahitian teal from Mad Micah's. And then we're going to use this fluorescent red from Aztec. Just incorporate this really well. And then we'll separate it out and do our colors. Today is Thursday and I have this show on Saturday and I am ill prepared for it. Stocking the new retail location and having my injured leg kind of chuck a lot out of me. So a few things we still need to get done before Saturday. We need to get these two things done. We're going to be short on bath bombs, but that's okay. We still have quite a bit of them, not as many as I was hoping to have, but it's all good. So, okay, now that that's nice and mixed there, we'll separate some out. I think most of our color is going to be Tahitian teal, so, or, yeah, I want less of the red, more of the teal. <clears throat> oh, can you see that? It's a very pretty color. See how that does. Oh yeah, that'll be good. And we won't put any embeds in these ones just because I don't want to. 
Got to keep people guessing. <laughs> Half the time I can never remember if I have embeds in something or not. So I always say, it's a surprise. If there is or if there isn't. If something's a single color, then I almost always put embeds in. But if it's multicolor, then maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Got to keep people on their toes. Shoo. So my son has early release tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get home early. He doesn't want to have to sit in his wheelchair for five hours until I get home. So hopefully I can get home. Problem is, is my boss is going on vacation tomorrow, so she'll be gone for a week. It's kind of hard for me to be gone if she's gone, because then nobody's in charge. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody can write any checks. But they'll just have to tell me what they need early enough in the day before I leave. There is that one. Doing extra sprays in there because we still have to mix up the red and I don't want to have to come back to re-wet this one. So just going to really wet it now. Oh, there was a big chunk in there. It's okay. And this one in. Fluorescent red. Pretty, pretty. I have so much labeling to do yet tonight. That's probably one of my least favorite things to do. I don't mind creating the labels, but actually it comes to packaging and labeling things. Blech. I would prefer that everything go naked and no prices ever. Or no prices. Everything's free. That would be silly. No uh, labels. <laughs> Just guess. I know I can't do that. I would never do that, but. It's just kind of a wish. If I had three wishes. If I was granted three wishes, <laughs> one would be to never have to label anything. It's all magically done for me. We're using the new microphone today. So hopefully I'm not too loud or too quiet or too annoying or whatever. Yes, please let me know if I'm annoying. Okay. Kidding by the way, I don't really want to know if I'm annoying. I don't want to know. And we're just going to kind of alternate some colors in here. Not too much red. We don't want to overpower everything, so. Just 
get my palm in there and smush everything down. I'll we'll clean these up again after it's dried a bit and don't want to package these up until at least tomorrow. I always end up putting a hole in my glove when I smush it down like that. It's all right. I'll just go to work today with red and teal hands. Not much gets in there, but just kind of catches on the top of the cauldrons. So when we do the witch's brew that's scented in kumquat, we just do a straight blue, but then we put embeds in it. That is always just a single color. We'll do that one later tonight, I think. The weather is supposed to be kind of cold and dreary this weekend and of course it's an outdoor festival that's okay I will bring a thermos of coffee and for the best last year it was really really hot so I'm actually looking forward to being able to bring some body butters this time because normally I don't bring them at all to outdoor festivals because it's just too hot. But I think I'll just bring a couple, nothing major. Oh my. Still have quite a bit of red left. are going to need to be much wetter than this. The moon cake press is kind of a funky little gadget. It's fickle on how it likes the mixture to be. It's be a little wetter than cauldrons or the bombs. I also found the um, press with the rounded edges at the top. Those work best for me. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. <laughs> See how it's kind of rounded at the edges, right up in here. The other ones, it just seemed like I was losing the detail in the tops too much. And 
instead of blaming operator error, I would rather blame the press. <laughs> why blame yourself when you can blame an inanimate object? <laughs> At least that's my motto. Almost done with these. And these, we will not do any glitter or anything like that on top of them. It'll just be plain. I miss not doing the glitter though. I like the glitter. I like glitter. Which is funny because I never used to. <laughs> Never a glitter girl. All right, so there we have it in all of its messy glory. Seven cauldron bombs and two ugly bombs. I'll find my spritzer. Where's my spritzer? I don't know. So we'll use this one. We'll just lightly spritz with rubbing alcohol. Just because. Because I like to. Well, that's it for now. We'll come back later when we do the um, kumquat. And we also have to make some kumquat lotion as well. So stay tuned for that. Have a good one. Bye.